So I'm going to start by cutting out the two girls. So I'm clicking on the pen tool and I'm changing the motor smart and I'm drawing around the outline of the two girls. And once all the dots are joined up together, I'm going to click to selection at the bottom right. And then I've moved over to the selections persona and I'm clicking on the refine selection tool. And then I'm just painting over some of the bits that need a bit more work, like the hair. And then when I've done that, I'm clicking apply at the bottom right, and that's going to remove the background. So moving back to the photo persona, I'm going to click on the pen tool again, and I'm going to cut out the areas that I missed before. And again, I'm going to click to selection, and in clicking on the erase tool, I'm going to remove this selection. And then once I've erased it, I'm going to press my finger on the screen until the options come up and then I'm going to click deselect. So when I use the refine tool, it's left a bit of a mess around the edges. So I'm going to add a mask layer and then I'm going to click on the paintbrush and make sure the colour's on black. And I'm going to remove the mess and just tidy it up a little bit. So I've moved over to a new document and I've got open this picture of some clouds and then I'm going to add an exposure adjustment and I'm bringing the exposure down and I'm then adding some brightness and contrast and then I've added a colour balance adjustment and moving over to the highlights I'm just going to add some yellows and reds And then I'm just adding some yellows into the shadows as well. And the same again with the mid-tones. I've then clicked back on the brightness and contrast adjustment and I've brought the brightness up and the contrast up a little bit more as well. And then I'm dragging all those adjustments on top of the clouds so that way anything else I bring into the picture 
it won't be affected by the adjustments. So now I'm using this picture of a dock and I'm dragging that to the very top of the layers. So again, it's not affected by the adjustments. And to be able to position it where I want it, I'm going to click on the three dots and I'm bringing the opacity down. And then on the move tool, I'm just going to resize it. And then once I'm happy with where it is, I'm going to bring the opacity back up. I've then added a mask layer. And again, using a pink brush with the colour on black, I'm going to paint around the edges, but I'm not going to touch the dark. I'm then changing the brush to a cloud brush. And now I want to paint around the dock to make it look as if the clouds are flowing over it. And then I'm lowering the opacity to about 40%. And if I change the colour to white, it's going to bring back some of the dark. I've then added an exposure adjustment onto the dock and I brought the exposure down. And I'm bringing up the brightness and contrast. And I'm then adding a HSL adjustment and I'm bringing the saturation down and the luminance down a little bit too. And all those adjustments are only going to affect the dark.
And then on a new pixel layer, on the colour wheel, I'm going to colour select the yellow of the sky, just because I want to add some more light into it. And then with the same brush, I've colour selected the pink and sky. And I'm then changing the blend mode to overlay and bringing the opacity down. And then on a new pixel layer, which I've dragged onto the dark, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to focus it towards the end of the dark. And I'm changing that to soft light and bringing the opacity down. So I'm using the same pink and same yellow from the sky. And then on a new pixel layer, I'm going to change the colour to black. And I'm focusing that on the dark, but underneath the clouds. And this is just going to make it seem like the clouds are adding some shadow to the dark. And I'm changing that to soft light and bringing the opacity down. Adding a new pixel layer, I'm colour selecting the yellow of the sky again. But I'm using a much bigger brush. And I'm going to change that to screen. And then on the move tool, I'm just resizing that a little bit. And then I'm doing the same thing again, but with the pink. And I'm changing that to add. And because I've resized it by bringing the top down, it's left a line at the top. So on the erase tool, I'm just going to get rid of that by painting over the line. Now I'm just bringing in the two girls that I cut out before and I'm adding a HSL adjustment to them and I'm bringing the saturation down and the luminance down too. And then clicking on the button to the right of the three dots, I'm clicking on rasterize which just means it's going to flatten the image and it's not going to have any layers for me to edit separately, it's all going to be one picture. And then I've added a fill layer and I've dragged that onto the two girls. And then on the colour wheel, I'm colour selecting some of the purple on the clouds. And I'm changing the blend mode to soft light. And bringing the opacity down just a little bit. And then on the move tool, I've just positioned them. On a pixel layer that I've dragged onto the two girls, I'm going to colour select the sky again and I'm going to start adding some light onto the girls where I think it would hit. So I'm just going to be focusing mostly on the left side.
And then once I've done that, I'm changing the blend mode to colour dodge, which is going to make that yellow a lot brighter, so I'm then going to bring down the opacity. And then on another pixel layer, I'm colour selecting some of the darker parts of the sky, and I'm going to add some shadows, so I'm going to focus this more on the right side. And I'm changing that to colour burn. And again bringing down the opacity. I've gone back on the colour dodge highlight layer that I did before the shadows and I just want to bring the opacity down a little bit more. And then I've added another pixel layer and I've dragged that onto the two girls again. And I've colour selected some of the purple in the sky. I'm just using a paintbrush I'm going to paint over the two girls. I'm going to leave the blend mode on normal but bring the opacity down just because I want the light on the girls to match their surroundings a bit more. I'm then just bringing down the exposure a little bit. And now I'm just adding some more highlights, but with that purple. And I'm only going to add a little bit. But I'm changing that to colour dodge. I'm going back on that exposure adjustment, but I'm bringing it up so it's not as dark. So around this point, I duplicated the two girls to make a shadow. And when I added a perspective filter, it would make the entire photo blurry. So I just had to make sure that I'd finished editing all the layers separately. And then I saved the image as a JPEG and then re-imported it. And then I've just had to re-import the two girls that I cut out. So then once I've resized them, I'm adding an exposure adjustment and I'm bringing it all the way down so it's completely black. And then on the Transform Studio, I'm going to flip them around. And then once I've got it lined up, I'm going to go on the filter studio and I'm clicking the button that says add live filters and then I'm clicking on distortions and then I'm clicking on perspective, dragging the bottom right corner out and bringing the bottom left corner in. And then on the top two points, I'm going to keep readjusting it until the feet line up. And then when I'm happy with that, I'm just going to click away. And then I'm going back on the filter studio, but I'm clicking on blurs. And I'm scrolling down to Gaussian blur. And I'm bringing the radius up. And 
I'm then bringing the opacity down and changing the blend mode to soft light. And then I'm adding a pixel layer. And I'm colour selecting the sky again. And then I'm changing the blend mode to add and I'm bringing the opacity down. And then I want to add some shadow, so on a new pixel layer I've colour selected some of the dark parts of the sky. And then I'm pretty much painting everywhere apart from the top left corner. And I'm changing that to multiply. And again I'm bringing the opacity down. And then on a curves adjustment, I'm bringing the highlights down and the shadows up. I'm then moving through the red, green and blue colour channels and I'm just going to mess around with the colours. And then on a colour balance adjustment, I'm adding some warmth into the highlights. And some cool tones into the shadows. And then I'm adding an exposure adjustment and bringing the exposure up a little bit. And then going back on the filter studio, I'm adding a depth of field blur and I'm dragging that to the very top of the layers. And I'm going to make sure that the two girls are in the centre circle so that the focus is on them and I'm just going to bring up the clarity and the vibrance and then the radius, blur the edges slightly.
I'm then just clicking back on the shadow of the two girls and I'm bringing the opacity down. And then finally I'm adding a fill layer and I'm dragging from the top left corner down to the bottom right corner. I'm changing the bottom right corner to a dark blue and I'm changing the top left corner to a lighter orange. And I'm changing the blend mode to soft light and I'm bringing the opacity down. 